Well, this week, as we celebrate six decades of being on air, we are going back a bit in time to when Joe Daggett was our sports director, joining us for 20 of our 60 years from 1980 to 2000. And so glad to have you back it's here. It's so good to be back here. What do you Dondi? think of the place? It's, it's a well, little Well, it's different, changed but... a lot. That There's technology here that just shatters my mind. But, as, you know, as I look back at it, I was proud every time I walked out and somebody said, there's Joe Daggett. Not because there was anything special about Joe Daggett, but because it was good to be associated with yes. WIS-TV, mm -hmm. an institution of such repute and, and excellence that everybody watched us and, uh, and everybody trusted it. The TV world in Columbia has changed some since then. The other stations are... are making it more competitive now that's good for the it, for the, good, for the right. television consumer but uh we really ruled right. in our day <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. and those were the glory days i'm looking at video of you from yesteryear and uh who i see ed carter in that picture you're standing behind ed but can you tell me who the guy is in the glasses well i don't None know none of us know I have here to put on my own glasses <laughs> and run over to the screen oh that's okay and then there's another picture of you from yesteryear and as i just look at all these um, you know, news has changed so much, and sports as a result, where it used to be you waited for the 7 o'clock report on WIS every day. But now, of course, we have the 6. There's a picture with Susan and Joe Pinner as well as you and Ed. And then we've got, we started at 5 and then at 5.30, and of course now this 4 o'clock show. Um, it's so different from when you were in the, in the mainstream, in the thick of it. Yes, it is. TV news and sports people work like dogs and always have, but they love it. Mm -hmm. It's uh, demanding and stressful, and the hours are bad, but people who really get into it in a thoroughgoing way, as I did and as you have, mm -hmm. uh, just love being uh, in this business. But what are you doing now? Update our viewers, because a lot of them wonder where you I are. I teach English. In a, in a program at the University of South Carolina called English Programs for Internationals. I'm really proud to be part of that, too, because it's, it's well run and, uh, and I'm associated with a wonderful faculty. Uh, we take students from all over the world and uh, we put them through this intensive English program and work them up through levels until they reach the point where they can pass a mighty English exam called the TOEFL, Test of English as a Foreign Language, and after that they go into uh, USC in whatever field, mostly business and, uh, and engineering. But the teacher gets educated, too, by associating yes. with these kids from Asia, Africa, and South America. So, so it's a perfect. great job. So perfect for that. And what a joy it is to have you on our show again. Don't go away because we're going to ask our viewers right now about your memories of Joe Daggett. Send me your tweets and Facebook comments, and we'll share them with Joe later in the show. But, Joe, you know, sports always came after weather. <laughs> Don't I you, know. <laughs> but with you here now, do you want to go ahead and tell John Farley, our chief meteorologist, uh, he now goes after you. Yeah. Joe Pinner was the <laughs> weatherman who came just before me, and for all of those years, he nicked a good 30 seconds to a minute out of the, <laughs> out of the sports block. Every, Which you're doing every, right now, the weather. Night. Oh, sorry, John. <laughs> Let's go to John. The, uh, the weatherman gets it back, see? Yes. Uh, and when I retired, he gave me a wonderful <laughs> clock to make up for all of those minutes he stole from me. Didn't. <laughs> Didn't make up yeah, for it, no, but I appreciated the gesture. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. We'll be back in a moment with Joe, but right now, here's John. Yeah, you know, I'm getting payback here, John. I got, yes. it, I got it with Rick the other day. I'm getting it now. That's how oh. it goes.